My name is Alex Gilbert. I'm a lawyer with Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid. I'm here to offer you important information in case you find yourself being evicted. Do keep in mind, if you are being evicted, you should consult directly with an attorney. First things first, have you received a written notice to vacate? No, then you don't have to move. Your landlord first has to deliver a written notice asking you to move out of your home. The notice typically gives you three or more days to move. Had your landlord threatened to call the police? Then you should be aware that they have to follow a formal process in order to legally evict you. And that process begins with the written notice to vacate. And no, the notice cannot be on text or email. Of course, we recommend talking directly to your landlord to work things out if possible. But if you're not able to work things out, then your next step is deciding, are you going to move or are you going to stay in the home? If you decide to move out, make sure that they release you from the contract and that you get the agreement in writing. If you decide to stay and you can't work things out, your landlord again will have to go through the whole eviction process. After you receive a written notice to vacate, if you're not able to move out uh, within the required time, your landlord might then file an eviction lawsuit against you. The lawsuit would be served by the constable and include the date and time of the hearing and it would uh, notify you of the address where the hearing will be held. The hearing would be set six to 10 days after you're served with the court paperwork by the constable. Make sure to attend the hearing. You should arrive early uh, in case there are parking or other issues. Take receipts and any other evidence that you have. Going to court can be intimidating. I think for a lot of us, it can fill you with anxiety or seem stressful, but it is always good to show up. Sometimes the landlord won't show up and you can ask for a dismissal. And if they do show up and you argued and you lost, now what? You still have the right to appeal and your landlord still is not legally allowed you to force you out of your home until the appeals process is complete. You'll have five days to appeal or to move from the date that the justice court judgment is signed uh, by the judge. If you can't move, you can appeal with a form called a statement of inability to pay court costs, and it will allow you to avoid the uh, initial filing fee. When it comes to filing appeals, timing is everything. Make sure you wait until the last uh, day of the fifth allotted day. You have to make sure that you count every day, including weekends and holidays. If that fifth day happens to land on a weekend, then you have until the following day that the court is open to file your appeal. Also, if the court officially closes before 4.30 p.m., you would have until the following day that the court is open. Let's say that you showed up to court and you lost the case and uh, you decide not to appeal or don't appeal. The landlord might ask for what's called a writ of possession. Uh, even if that happens, you're still entitled to a warning notice from the constable. The notice would be in writing and it would give you at least 24 hours from the time that it's delivered before the constable comes back and moves your things out. If you do file your appeal, the case will then be transferred to county court. Um, but if you want to retain the right to continue living in your home while the appeal moves forward, you do have to pay one month's rent to the court registry within five days of the day that you file the appeal. You also must continue paying one month's rent to the court registry every month as the appeal moves forward if you want to retain the right to continue living there. What's most important to take from this talk today is that you have options. Your landlord can try to scare you or send you texts, emails, or other notices, but unless they have gone through all of the steps in the process, they cannot kick you out of your home without warning.